so right here in this clip, we are chasing down the people that just uh, almost ran us over. So Christian was surfing behind the boat um, in that clip, as you guys saw. And well, these people came up from behind. You could see them in the back in that clip, and they came up pretty fast for some reason and almost hit Christian um, while he was in the water and then almost hit the front of our boat. And so we are chasing them down, and while we are chasing them, them down, um, my sister is calling the police. And so, um, well, we are just headed to catch them right now, and hopefully they don't get away or anything like that. Um, they were drunk. The Everyone blew over a porno eight or porno, whatever you're supposed to be at or under. They were all over that. They're all drunk, and as you can see, they really don't even know what they're doing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and uh, keep watching the video. So right now, guys, you can see me pointing to the other boat. Um, the two boats that are actually the one boat that's coming in right now is the Coeur d'Alene Police, or Idaho State Police boat. Um, they're headed in right now to go um, check on the people, arrest the people, what they were um, coming up to the scene for. We called them and let them know who the driver was and what they were doing. So right now I'm just recording them and um, I'm going to cut through clips and just tell you guys what's going on. It was pretty scary. We almost died and my sister's boyfriend almost died. He literally almost got ran over by a boat. So on the next clip you guys will see, I'm pretty sure, is then the SWAT, or not the SWAT, sorry, the Coast Guard is uh, up at the boat with them. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys keep watching. 500 miles inland and here comes the Coast Guard. Will they be the ones who towed the boat? They could. The Coast Guard's out here doing I would, I would like them to come talk to us. They probably would. Because if they have supposed to court, then they What's have witnesses. What's funny is that this is the job that I used to want to have. The Coast Guard. You could be on one of those boats. I wanted to be a flight attendant. Yeah. I wanted to be a garbage man. I couldn't get into the Coast Guard when I was 18. Alright guys, so right here in this clip, um, the Coast Guard just showed up as you guys saw from and they are aboarding, or aboarding, they're getting on the other people's boat. They are actually handcuffing them right now and putting them on the police boat. Um, they're handcuffing them to the rails and uh, so they cannot jump off because I don't think that'd be a good idea if they handcuffed them and they jumped off. You just can't really swim without your arms. Anyways, um, the Coast Guard that was there, um, there's four policemen and uh, 12 of the Coast Guard there, six on each boat, and, um, well, they just, everybody that was drunk on the red and white cobalt decided to shut up once the 12 Coast Guard got there, which I thought was a pretty good idea. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys more clips, and hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so right now, they have everybody off the red and white cobalt. There's a policeman on the cobalt about to take it back to shore, and all the people that were on the cobalt are on the police car and the Coast Guard. Um, boat right now and they're about to take them to land and take them to jail so yeah here's the next clip all right guys what you're seeing right now is the police decided to tow the boat and so they have people on the police boat and the red and white cobalt they decided it'd be too crowded and um, not a good idea to do that so they're towing the boat right now and as I'm talking like this, or talking to you guys, sorry, and um, if you're watching this video, the Coast Guard was actually, the Coast Guard and the police, other police boat were coming towards us to get our statements and get what actually happened and what actually went on throughout that time, and um, so yeah, you'll see a clip of the cops talking to us, I'm not going to put in the full clip, I don't want to do that to the cops, but they are really nice, they understood what was going on, and um, they respected us, so yeah, here's the next clip. Alright guys, so for, from here and on, um, 
we were just talking to the police and letting them know what was going on, and um, we gave them all of our statements of what happened, and uh, well, we're all exactly the same because we're all in the same boat. We know what was going on, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys stay safe out on the water, and uh, I'm glad we all made it. Um, my heart dropped. I know when that boat came literally four feet away from us, I did not know what to do. I thought we were going to crash, and... Well, there's going to be some people dead because we were going about 15 and, well, we weren't going 15 right then, but we were going 15 when we were uh, surfing, but I think they they had to be going 20-something, 30-something. They were hauling past us, and I don't know why, but who knows. Um, but yeah, they're all in jail. We talked to the police, and... The people on the Red and White Cobalt were actually pissed at us that we called the cops because they didn't see what they did wrong. So they were mad at us for calling the police and like they're almost killing us. But you know, it's whatever. People are dumb. Um, people do dumb decisions or make dumb decisions. But uh, yeah, don't drink and drive, guys. Not a smart idea. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, after this, actually, in two days, I'm headed to Stance Wars and Weckfest. So if you guys know what that is, it's in Seattle. And, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, comment what you guys thought about the video, what we should have done differently, or if you guys agreed with what we did. But I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>